Hello everyone, Pat, AE5 and W. Well, I just finished a, uh, a nice QSO with a uh, VE3 BLB, a uh, fellow by the name of David up in uh, Canada, uh, sometimes affectionately referred to as uh, Canuckistan. And I've got the, uh, the KX3 out right now. And uh, QSO started at 5 watts, then we took it down to 1, then back up to 10. And uh, anyway, he was just amazed at how well. I was coming in with uh, just a little random uh, random long wire and what we got here is a little homebrew uh, 9 to 1 or 1 to 9 you know I don't really care which way you say it uh, un un which just helps uh, you know balance that long wire against multiple bands there uh, makes the impedance uh, something a little bit friendlier to the radio and uh, that's essentially a little Tupperware box. It's called a lock and lock box with uh, toroid, a little bit of wire, and some uh, medicine bottle caps uh, is the holder here. Uh, this is a very, uh, very MacGyvered uh, setup. But it works surprisingly well. And this is 24 gauge uh, speaker wire from Radio Shack. It was a vision, uh, blah, 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 originally zip cord. So these two pieces, you know, were together like normal speaker wire. Split down the middle. Uh, one half is the uh, the radiator, which is going up into the tree, and the other half here is the counterpoise, which is, you know, laid out eh, along the ground, heading out that way toward the fence. Now, I don't know if you can see the antenna, but this is it, right here, going on up, on up, on up, on up, on up, into the treetop there, uh, about 50 feet of wire, and that's it. I meant to add this to uh, the video that I had just shot, and I turned the silly thing off. So I'm going to use Google's little video editor and paste these two together somehow. But that's it. We had uh, nice weather here today. Figured uh, I would get out here and play radio for a little bit before the cold front and storms come in tomorrow. This is my launcher. Uh, it's what's called a hyper dog, a uh, little slingshot for chunking tennis balls for your dog to fetch. A chunk of PVC tube. And uh, that's how I funk my monofilament up and over the tree, and then hoist the uh, the antenna back up. And uh, there's the two meter J pole that I use for all the uh, VHF goodness. And uh, there is the five eighths wave uh, collinear tuned for ten. And what you probably can't see going this way, if you look real close, it might show up. There's a dipole up there, 40 meter dipole, and it goes between that tree and one of the limbs on that pine tree out there. So, but anyway, speaker wire, guys, Radio Shack, antenna, works fine. <laughs> see ya. 85 and W, clear.